absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? <laughs> oh, he's so obvious! Alright, let's try this number. <sighs> Still not working. I get the impression I counted the wrong way. It must be one year more then. Oh, there we go. I got it. Open sesame. <laughs> what room is this? Okay, all this stuff is here. Let's take a look. Uh, secret study of Mortimer, huh? Dear Lord Mortimer, I am writing to ask you to persuade President Washington not to sign the Fugitive Slave Act as it stands. We must absolutely legislate on the national level and not allow every state to choose their own policy regarding slaves. It was initially intended to resolve the conflict between Pennsylvania and Virginia by signing that we risk legislating the hunt of blacks. More and more men of little faith are becoming slave hunters and are unable to find any slaves on the run. They kidnap the first black they came, came across and they finally pass off as wanted runaway. The situation threatens a quick degenerative. Thank you in advance, your friend John Adams. Say hello to my daughter, Elizabeth, for me. Oh, okay. Dear Lord Mortimer, I regret to inform you that our plans to Poland are set to fail. Russia and Prussia are working in coherence to bleed our Poland. We are no we have no power here. We continue to maintain pressure as we best to as best as we can on the Prussian border, as agreed upon to occupy Frederick William's army, and I do not know how long we can keep up. Your devoted servant, uh Edifier de Bauer? I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's over here. Map of Africa. Moreover, it shows a fair number of sea voyages being organized towards the American continent. No doubt with slaves. Yeah. How many men are broken in this trade? Tens of thousands each year, according to what people say. What the hell? My lord, I hope this letter will reach you. My house are numbered. My hours are numbered. My printing house... My printing house has been confiscated and I am imprisoned in the fortress of Schausenberg. If I by any chance you can intervene in my favor, I would internally be in your debt. The Sar Sarnia Catherine should not be along in banning of the Golden Order Lodges from the territory. Our horizon has become considerably darker and hope that you can help me your friend Nikolai Nikovi. Weakness of the human psyche by Giham Trimor. Hmm. He says, it is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in and goes on. There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. <laughs> the author isn't letting any ethical principles get in his way, is he? Sir, your plans to intervene in Belgium or go ahead is set down. I am occupying the Prussian army. Your delivery of cannons in Valmy to ensure our victory. As agreed, I have notified the King of Prussia in the invasion plans of the Custine uh, of Army of the North. I will have. I will keep the Austrians of. Uh, uh, the, I will keep the Austrians out of Belgium. I am quickly to return to Paris as I sense the fate of our King Louis is about to be decided dishonorably, and it's impossible for me to intervene. Should you have any mass? Should you have any missives to give me? I invite you to go by as per usual. Our friend Monsieur Peru. Sincerely, Charles Francois, uh, Gen General of the Army of the North. Okay. Asian map. Looking map of the Orient, indeed. Huh. Okay. My dearest Lord Mortimer, I regret to inform you that it will soon be impossible to ignore pressure from the Russians. 
The Sarnia Catholic has every intention to support the, the counter province and will recognize him in his region of the King Kingdom of France. Once King Louis has disappeared from the political stage, I am sorry to announce the bad news, but expect dark times ahead. Your friend, uh, Boar again. Huh. Okay. What the hell? It's locked. Hmm. This guy has like secret rooms and everything, huh? My dearest Lord Mortimer, as a friend of China, rest assured that you will be rewarded for your information. You need not to worry about the scheming uh, against us uh, from Great Britain. Their representative, Mr. M McCartney, will leave you will leave with no hope of any arrangements involving us. Your friend, Kao Long, Emperor of the Qing Dynasty. So he's like keeping in contact with every important person again. You would think that it would be Sarah de Roche because she's the part of the order or whatever, but this guy really isn't. William, whatever your projects, it would be fate that our father leave it against you in a gripping Europe. Russia will soon commit itself into the co uh, the coalition against your dear friends. Don't think it can resist long. I beseech you, William, not to persist that you are tearing our family apart. Your loving brother, G. I shall pass your conference, but I do not think holding at present moment is con conduitive. He has a brother. Europe? It shows the forces present in Europe. It's clear that France is surrounded by her enemies. However, a large number has been underlined in bold. 26 million? 26 million. I know what it is. It's an estimation of my country's population. All our neighbors have far fewer inhabitants. Huh. My dear friend, thank you for your words, and I do understand your situation. I have regret to confront you materially. Materially. But if the situation obliged me to declare war, then what do you think fit? Under your advisement and with a wary heart, I am offering to meet up with a coalition that opposes you and hope that serving you against George, King of Harvard, King of the United Kingdom and Great uh, Britain and Ireland. Okay. Okay, I think I'm supposed to look at the last. So I'm going to look at that last. This gift has been delivered. Theomar, what? Whoa. His son will succeed in his plan. You will be able to resume negotiations. K. What the hell is going on? Who is he talking to? He's talking to so many people. My dear friend, with thanks for your service, has re-rendered and helped the fight against the Spanish and the conquest of the Quran. A ship, uh, a ship bound for Mar Marcellis in the France, will has been has been charted. Hidden abroad are a few corpses of infected with the plague that what that that this. That is decimating our country at this moment in time. Be very careful when handling these boxes because they've been vainly open. You risk the spreading the de disease all over France. Mohammed El Kibari? Is it that the Black Plague? Wait, so is this guy controlling all the history of events that's gonna happen in the world? Is that why he has contacts with everybody? What the fuck is Mortimer doing? This shows the forces present in America. This shows the forces present in America. Okay. My dear friend, uh, desired I have been able to gather together my friends to sign agreement you proposed. This agreement shall be known as the Buttonwood Agreement. If you recall the place where you get where we gathered when we first met for the first time, you will understand why this name was given. Please find the enclosures of the colleagues. Huh. Thank you for your help. We shall be soon be able to meet in my place, the Tony Coffee House. I look forward to seeing you as soon as possible, Hugh Smith. Huh. Okay. The hell is in here? My dearest friend, our plans are going ahead wonderfully well. The Cognitive Act has been voted. Your project will be founding very first Bank of America shall not be delayed and will probably call the Union Bank. As for the cons uh, construction of the White House, is still, it, it is still die to begun in uh, October. I will accept no delays. You can trust me on this. I hope to see you soon. Thomas Jefferson, Secretary of State. table of alchemical elements. So, Lord Mortimer also studies alchemy? 
It seems like he's interested in everything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is he like trying to control everything that's gonna happen or what? Am I seeing things or is that an actual von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Even at the order, it took us ages to get one of those. That's weird. Dear Lord Mortimer, be assured of my entire devotion as agreed. The Vendee? Uh, Vendee? Vendee? Uh, pe peasantry will soon rise. My network is striving to increase the pressure on the masses. This decision of the assembly, which consists of voting the civil constitution of the clergy, is inflaming the religion. Uh, the region. The people overwhelmingly reject the priests and swear by loyalty of the state. If you can ensure that the convention will uh, administer the final blow to the people, the issue will be resolved. Without wishing you directly, a forced recruitment uh, for a faraway conflict would be a perfect way to arouse the people, definitely. Your devoted friend, Francois, uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Hmm. That must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. Hmm. An iron mask. I wonder who it's for. What the hell? Dear Lord Mortimer, agreed. I have changed your old lock from uh, one of my inventions, drawing inspiration from your doctor friend, Mr. Guillotine. Here is the model of your new lock. If you appreciate uh, my prototype, it's difficult to imagine how it fits together, but it will locate in the middle of the present door. The aim being to alter nothing of the door functionality, but add a bit of spice. Depending on the layout of the wheels, uh, a formation lock will open, or will be punish the snooper who fate is strong enough. I call the invention the judgment of fate because the snooper is unable to resist opening it. They will be punished. I hope you will appreciate the irony of the situation. Whoa. Are we gonna get fucked that we went in here? I, I think we're gonna get screwed since we got in here. Oh no. A skeleton by the name of Gustav. If the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. Mortimer's given a name to his anatomy skeleton. <laughs> That's morbid. Oh, these are feathers. Pigeon, probably. Oh yeah, the hand is missing. I didn't even realize that. What the hell? Looks like obsidian or onyx. It must weigh a ton. Hmm. Something strange about this table. The little surgeon's perfect collection. Discovered immunity again. Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. Ew. Lord Mortimore, the tiger is dying. On your demand, I have attacked Trevor Trevorance and personally cut the throats of many Englishmen as possible, though without help from the French. Cannot hold them off much longer. My forces are rapidly diminishing in spite of your new rockets. Help us. Who is that? Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. Hmm. Three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. And it seems as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. Well, I mean, nothing surprises me right now. Like sold by charlatans in Pré Saint Gervais. All right, as you can clearly see, I have changed my clothes, and it is a new day. Unfortunately, when I was recording this, the power went out, so that was nice. Um, but luckily, it did save, so I don't have to repeat anything. But before we continue, I actually want to look at uh, Manuel Godoy because we didn't actually get to like. Uh, check out his character. Um, so his description says here, Manuel Godoy, Secretary of State and Head of the Spanish Government. A favor of the King Charles VI of Spain, Godoy rapidly climbed the political ranks. Lover of the Queen Marie Louise Bourbon uh, Parma, he's attracted the envy Spanish prince, uh, princes. 
As a society of state, he developed and strengthened the Spanish colonial empire, especially in the Americas. A close friend of Louis the Fifth, was it the Fifteenth? What was he again? Uh, for, <laughs> King of France. He worked hard to for the king's liberation, but in vain. This served as fuel to the resident of the Republican government of France. Invited by Sir Gregory Home, Godoy arrived at Lord Mortimer's Manor with the firm intention of of calming the expansionist desire of the United States of America on their continent. Okay, obviously he's pissed because the king died in France and all that bullshit, so... I, we got a general consensus of all the characters now, at least the guests who are supposed to be here. But, uh, I searched everything through this room already, so I guess we can just take a look at the letter on the globe. Let me see if you have courage. Face me alone. This is my mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but... But where? In that place? The she's left for Mortimer is a stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like... From a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm... Guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. Okay. So I'm assuming... Well, I remember Sarah's other note talking to Emma, uh, Emily's twin sister, uh, trust in the man with the sword. So maybe they hid the thing wherever that statue is? I thought it would be like, oh, I'm here in this continent or something, but I remember she didn't leave the island. Uh, it's locked. Okay, I can't get there, so I think I can leave now? We gotta go find her. Oh, shit. How am I gonna get out of here now? Oh, are you fucking kidding me, dude? This looks like the same mechanism. Wait, is the bird not dead? Side. That looks too easy. Could be a trap. Oh yeah, it did say that because remember one of the notes was just like, "Don't worry, if anyone comes inside, there will be a trap waiting for them." Oh shit! It looks like the same as the one on the other side. Yeah, but I don't want to die either. You know what I mean? Uh. Really? Is that it? I figured something would happen. Well, we better not dwell on it then. Okay then. How's the bird? Oh no, the bird's actually still dead. God damn it. Alright, well. Um, let me pretend I didn't do anything and let's leave. Okay, so this is the uh, chapter 6. Okay, so I met Manuel Godoy, got some information about uh, Volner, found the nightmare that Mother mentioned, I got to know Waldo, I found I found a way to get into the secret study, I also killed Waldo, let's remind everybody about that, I got out of Mortimer's secret study without any trouble, I failed, I poisoned Waldo the bird in Mortimer's office. Right. And the alternative paths, I could have met Peru under strange circumstances. Oh, really? Huh. I wonder how I would be able to do that. That's interesting. Okay. Alright, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. Alright, so we are gonna look for the... You're choking, oh. I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Oh, for God's sake, just ask them. Ooh. Oh, I I do want to look for Mother, but I also kind of want to spy on these two because I suspect Wolner of something fucking weird, so I'm going to spy on them. We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? <laughs> He's so obvious. I brought him the first one 20 odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies. But I don't understand your reaction. I'm sure it is nothing serious. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have Why does he want it so... He's like looking for everything so badly. You don't understand. I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur no, I'm not. Lachet. Why not join us rather than find yourself <laughs> eavesdropping? Uh, I, uh, I, 
I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course you didn't. So, my son, what can we do for you? <laughs> You know, it's really funny. Why did he just like fucking stand there like an idiot? Okay, I, I don't want to talk about the sword right me, now. You caught my attention. What were you talking about? It seemed really important. Reassure them. Hey, it seemed important. Here, minutes. I don't know what you said to Mr. Von Volner, but the poor fellow looks positively crestfallen. Not at all. No, don't, don't you believe it, Louis? I was just telling Monsieur about Lord Mortimer's burning passion for holy relics. You must have noticed he's a bit of a collector. Well, for years he has been searching high and low to bring all the copies of the Holy Spear together. As I was coming here, I thought I'd bring him a few of them. That's all. Be quiet, for God's sake. Uh, please leave us, Monsieur. His eminence and I wish to finish up. I think he was lying there, Piaggi. He was definitely covering for him. All right, well, you know, Louis could have done a better job on eavesdropping. He could have just stayed over there and then not look like an idiot standing by the fireplace. Jesus Christ. All right. Ooh, where the hell am I right now? This is a different area. I haven't been here before. Ooh, I can go outside. Okay, before I go outside, I, I just want to know where the hell am I? I am sorry, sir, but the conference room is Oh, this is the conference room. Is consequently inaccessible to guests. Okay. H hey, let's... Should I ask the guard about the, the sword? The servants? Would they know? Or would it be weird? I'm gonna ask. Could you perhaps help me? What can I do for you, sir? Where did this sword come from? From the garden, sir. That sword belongs to one of the statues in the garden. Thank you okay. very much. Thanks, Don't dude. It, sir. All right, so let's head into the garden. The sword probably came from this garden, but what could it have been used for? Okay, so we're gonna have to take a look at all the statues. Oh, Peru is out here. But uh, we're gonna have to take a look at all the statues that are around, so maybe we can find something. Let me talk to Peru first. Well, Monsieur de Richet. What brings you here? Uh, and yourself? Can I trust him? I tell you what I'm looking for, Monsieur Peru. Will you promise to keep it to yourself? Hell no. And anybody who gives you a promise like that is an unmitigated liar. Trust no one, Monsieur de Richet, or you'll soon be a dead man. I huh. bid you good luck. You'll need it. That's interesting that he's saying that to me. I figured he'd be like, you know, not saying that, like warning us, because he really does not like uh, Louis. But interesting that he's just warning us. But all right, thanks, dude. Um. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Ariadne. In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. Remember your lessons. Observe the crack. Let's see. A crack as long as my finger. Will the sword go in there? Hey. What's going to happen if, if I've got it wrong? Oh. That's true. Hang on. Wait. Before I do that, should I look around a little bit more? Just in case I actually did the wrong thing. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Icarus. Son of Daedalus and Nocrate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, they came unstuck and he fell to his death. Who is this? Theseus. Son of Aegeus. He's the one who slayed the Minotaur. Does he have a sword? It's- isn't it a man with a sword? That's just what I'm remembering from what she was saying. Minos. Son of Zeus and Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her thread. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. Oh, here's another one. Asterion. It is rare to see him like this. In general, he's represented with the head of a bull, with the features of the Minotaur. The famous son of Minos in Pasiphae. Oh, there's more. Who's this? Pasiphae. Daughter of Perseus and sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. I 
wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. I feel like it would be like an do much. underground well, tunnel or something. something going on there. Right? What is that? Looks like a sort of opening mechanism. Yep. Knowing Mortimer, I bet it's booby trapped. There's a little hole at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Oh Damn God! You, Mortimer reminds me of traps I studied in the Egyptian tombs. Okay, I don't get like killed or anything. I'm gonna put it in Theseus, and I'm gonna see what happens. Has been made on his torso. I hope I don't get fucked. Oh, please tell me I did the right thing. Okay. Let's just fuck it. Just try it. I don't know. I just want to try it. Couldn't he put like a rock in it or something? Oh, God. Oh. What's wrong? Did I screw myself? I'm, I'm imagining things or my hand was pricked. Yeah. <sighs> It had poison on it. My head. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's try with minnows if that will work. Hey, there we go. What happened? Oh, so I was right. Oh shit, there's blood. Uh oh. Assuming that the vision that Louie had in the first episode, I'm assuming that Sarah does not have her arm anymore. Or her hand, whichever. Uh-oh. Uh what? Another Again? vision? I... You can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to- Agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now get out! What? So what is that? That's the third time in three days. Yeah, it is. So Holmes is there's something going on with him? I mean he knows about what Sarah is doing, right? Oh he didn't notice that. <laughs> Let's see if you're you're in there, mother. God, I hope she is. Okay. Dark and creepy. Perfect. Amber crystals. Okay, we gotta search the crypt. Bandages? Hmm. Someone's been patching themselves up. Looks yep. like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. Why did she have to cut off her hand, though? Hmm. There are patches where the blood isn't totally clotted. That's a good sign, right? She changed them recently, which proves she's still looking after herself and still believes in her chances. Well, I'd love to tell her to keep hanging in there. Okay. So it's recently. She's been here. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh. Oh no. Damn it, mother. Now what's happened? Louis? Oh, please tell me there's like no one down here with us. Don't move. Wait, I'm not armed. 
Who are you? Good God, Mother, what have you- Tell me who you are. What? Wait, 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 she doesn't know who we are? Why? Please tell me just because she lost too much blood, she doesn't know what the fuck's happening. What the fuck? Okay. Successful. I eavesdropped on the conversation between Piaggi and Walner. I convinced Piaggi to reveal some informa important information to me. I succeeded in opening the entrance to the crypt. I found my mother there in the crypt. I could have inspired Peru to trust me. Oh, that's true. Yeah, well, I kind of fucked that up. Damn it! That's the end of the episode! Shit! Oh, come on! Oh, man, I love it. I love that the end episodes end so well. Oh, shit. Okay, so she doesn't know who we are. So that makes me- th Okay, this is, this is possibilities right now. One of two things, like, she either really doesn't remember us because she's out of it, because she lost so much blood after, you know, her cutting off her hand and whatever. So, that could be the reason why. The other reason is, it has to deal with whatever she's looking uh, within uh, Mortimer's vaults and stuff like that. Whatever she's looking through there, it's kind of affected her. Or, if the Im immortality or time travel or magic portal things that I've been talking about is actually true. She went through them, changed something, and then now uh, she can't remember. It's it's like a paradox, but um, I feel like that's m m very unlikely because um, of everything we found so far. I don't think it's like time portals, but I do think it has to deal with whatever Mortimer is hiding. And then now we have Holmes as like an enemy because he actually knows what's going on too. If you remember in the first vision we had in the first episode, Holmes was there when, he ki when she killed Emma. There has to be a reason, huh? I don't know what to think, you know? Like, I'm very confused on, like, what I should think about this. Um, but anyway, I think you guys should let me know in the comments what do you think is gonna happen? Holy crap. That was actually really cool. I really didn't expect that. I really thought, like, we, the mother wouldn't be in there. I really thought she left already. I thought it would be someone else, but... God damn. All right. Well, this leads us to possibly maybe me making another theory video. I kind of want to, just because I have some speculations on what's going on, but, like, it's very hard to distinct on, like, what exactly Mortimer is hiding because, anyway, this game is made up of secrets and everything like that, so it's hard to decipher. But, regardless, I hope you all enjoyed this Let's Play for Episode 2 Hide and Seek. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can know when I make the theory video and also when the third episode comes out, I will for sure play it. Um, thank you once again to Focus Home Interactive for sending me a game key. This game is so interesting. But anyway... We'll see what happens when the third episode comes out. Also, if you guys want to support the channel on Patreon, the link is in the description. You can also do that there. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just go and start my theory video because what the fuck, dude? Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! After finishing God of War, it was revealed that Atreus' true name was Loki. Yes, that Loki, the trickster god. This pretty much confirms that Atreus will- Okay! All right! Oh, that's a CG. I know I have to still blur it, but that's a CG. Okay. Her, her, her arm is wrong.